Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So being a research scholar, one thing which I can definitely tell you is writing a research paper is not an easy job. You don't only have to convey your ideas in limited format and in limited words, but also you have to go through a lot of research papers uh, which have done work similar to you. You have to cite them and that's what we call literature review or literature survey, which is itself a painful work. Now, although there are a lot of uh, like AI tools which are there, for example, ChatGPT or Gemini, which can make these things easier for you. But I have found that most of the citations which these AI tools provide, they are either misleading or they are not uh, recent ones. With the growing advancement in the AI tools, there was a need of an AI platform which can help you to do all this literature survey, to manage citations. Not only this, but it can also help you to write your research paper. It can help you to generate different diagrams. So for all these problems, there is a one-stop solution, which is answerthis.io. Answerthis.io were kind enough to collaborate with me for this particular video, where I can show you how useful this platform is and how easy it is to use this platform for all research-related writing work. So now I'm going to share my computer screen with you, where I can show you all the features of this particular platform and how you can use it. So let's go to my computer screen. All right, so this is answerthis.io platform. The link I'll give you in the description of this video. So for the first time, you have to sign up for this platform. So you can go to this particular place to sign up or you can sign up from here as well. So once you sign up, it is going to create a profile for you, which is going to contain all the searches, all the related queries in that particular profile. I'm quickly going to log in so that I can show you how this is going to look, all right? All right, so once you log in, this is how the screen is going to look like. You can see all the features are very well shown on the front screen itself. There are different features of this particular platform. For example, you can do literature review. Uh, you can go through different guides. Then you have AI writer. Uh, there is a library where you can save all the research papers which you are actually looking upon. Then you can search different research papers. You can go through different projects, you can create citation map, you can even create some uh, diagrams. I'll be talking about them in detail. Uh, you can see that this platform can be used for writing research proposal, this can be used for writing projects, project reports, this can be used for writing review articles. So some of the popular tools of this particular platform are like chat with PDF, where you can ask questions by uploading a research paper. If you have a PDF of a, of a research paper, you can upload on this platform and you can ask questions related to that. Then there is AI writer, which can help you to write new research paper, then extract data, which can help you to extract summary of a research paper, to make conclusions of a research paper, and then diagram generator, which can help you to create visual diagrams of the research, which has been already done. Uh, then for research scholars, some of the dedicated uh, like tools are like literature review, where you can review or read uh, like a lot of research paper which has been done already. You can search from more than millions of research papers which are there on the platform and you can create citation map so that all the work which you are actually trying to cite, they all will be at the same place. Now, although I have a professional account for this particular platform so that I have unlimited access to all the features of it, but still, if you don't go for a pro account, you have limited access to the, all these features. And if you think and if you find these features beneficial, you can even opt for a pro account. You can get that at a discounted price. The link is there in the description of this video. You can go ahead with that. Now I'm going to show you all these things one by one. Now I'm going to show you one of the best tool of this particular platform, which personally I like the most, which is literature review. Now let's say I want to write a research paper on a particular topic and I want to do literature review of that. I want to see what other people have done in the similar field. So I can go to research uh, or literature review tool. Either I can click from here or I can go from here. So let's say if I click here. So now it will ask me to give a query. Okay, so I have to give certain keywords so that it can search. And it is not only about keywords. There will be more advanced features. I'll show you how it comes. Uh, so there is also a prompt helper which can help you to generate prompt. But uh, in, like apart from that, you can also just write your own uh, keywords and you can search about it. So let's say I want to know about uh, like uh, amyloid proteins, uh, which are responsible for, let's say, cardiac diseases. Okay, so I'll, I'll just write down 
some random keywords for that so uh, let's say now i have to search but before i go for search there are a lot of other features which make my search very effective and useful now you can see that there are different type of answer one is structured literature review and one is dynamic research assistant okay now you can also give minimum citation now you can ask answer this dot io to uh, only search for certain research papers which let's say have uh, let's say have three citations okay L which have three citation citations or more then there is a turbo mode turbo mode is going to give you faster results but it may reduce the comprehensiveness so for the sake of showing you guys because for now i'm just showing you how to use i'll turn on this turbo mode but when you are actually doing some literature survey i would recommend you to turn this off so that it might take a little bit of time but in that case you will get more promising results okay so for now i'm just keeping the turbo mode on then it is going to do the database now it says select internet as well as more sources so i'll i have taken uh, research papers as the database you can even select for web search patents and all the places like if you want to search patents also if you want to do web search also then you can give that also uh, now it says that journal quality what type of quality you want for the journal so usually keep it all publication date is going to help you now this feature is going to be useful especially when you are doing a review when you are writing a review article because let's say if you are writing a review article about a certain topic and you only want to include certain papers in a certain range let's say you only want to include papers recent papers which has been published from let's say 2010 to 2025 last 15 years or last 10 years now double check citations means uh, this is going to it is going to increase the processing time but it is going to improve the citation accuracy again when you are doing a comprehensive search i would recommend you to click on that so that uh, you get more promising citations and more promising results okay there will be some custom sections also which you can select from here but uh, i think it's fine you can leave it blank now you can click on this submit search and once you uh, like click on this it is going to take some time it is going to analyze for certain time and one more benefit of it is that even if you let's say if you are doing more comprehensive search which i said as i said that it might take a little bit of time but in that case you will get a email notification so whatever email is logged in in this particular platform you will get an email as soon as this search will be complete so you won't miss out you can just go and have some of your coffee or you can start doing some other work and once this search is going to be completed you are going to get a email notification and you can come back and continue with it okay so as you can see the search result is here i already fast forwarded it and i just got a email notification as well that my search is complete so now i can show you how it looks so you can see the screen is now in two part one is the answer the other one is source so in the answer it has already made the answer in a way which has created kind of a research paper for you okay you can see all these things are like the title which i have given you can like since i just gave you uh, since i just gave some keyword you can give a specific title if you are if you really want to write down something okay now it has taken that as the title or the heading of this paper and then it has given a good introduction then it has given certain uh, like headings to it for example like types of amyloid proteins which are involved in cardiac amyloidosis then uh, light chain amyloidosis then uh, then there is a uh, trans uh, which is a very good i would say it's a very detailed way of representation of the work which has been given over here uh, it's not only have a certain perspective but it has tried to convey the idea from different perspective of science it's not only uh, from the biophysics point of view but also from the clinical science point of view so you can see it has made all these answers in detail and you can go through it now not only this search has given a very detailed result but it has also given certain future direction so this is something uh, which is really impressive now apart from that here are your citations okay you, you might have seen you might have noticed that there are different citations as mentioned and wherever they are and all these sources are on the other side okay now i'll come back to that but at the end if you see after writing any research paper you also need to uh, 
mention citations and those citations needs to be in a certain format now you can see there are different styles of this citation uh, apa format mla format uh, so usually we go with apa format so you can see that all these citations have been converted in that particular format now coming to the sources okay let's see from which source it has taken all this information so you can see that it has taken from this particular paper uh, which was published in 2021 and it has 783 citations and where it says pdf available that means this particular uh, paper or this particular research paper is uh, like it's an open source research paper and you can read this pdf or you can chat with the pdf over here so uh, this is the heading of this particular paper and you can see the abstract is also given publication is oxford university press uh, you can see da various different papers are here and many of them have pdf available they have very high citations very recently published even you have papers from Ville library uh, then you have paper from annual reviews which are very good uh, publications especially if you consider it from a uh, chemistry and biochemistry point of view now you might also notice that there are some citations in which it will show that pdf is not available that means these papers these citations are from those sources which are not open source so in that case if you want to really read this particular citation you can click on this doi number and you can read from there okay now this particular uh, like ai generated result which has which is over here for me it is not only going to have some limited number of citations but it has taken almost 34 citations from the given uh, like in like given uh, time or given values which i have given like i have given minimum number of citations three then i have given a certain duration of years that you have to search within this year and since i have opened this turbo mode that's why the number of citations are limited if you uh, like turn off this turbo mode in that case you might get more number of citations now definitely i'm not asking you to just copy and paste what has been generated by this okay because that won't be ethically right and i'm definitely not promoting that what i'm suggesting is once you get answer from this particular platform you can have an idea that how uh, you can come up with the different sources and how to frame a certain thing and with that you can take some idea and you can write these things in your own format or at least to have a combined data of previous few years of paper what work they have done and then you can make changes accordingly and come up with your own idea okay so this is how it can be used now i'm going to show you one more very important feature of it which is edit with ai so if you click on this edit with ai this this whatever result we have generated is going to be added in the uh, editor okay now this is a very useful editor you can see now there is one more very interesting use of this particular platform which is citation map i'm going to show you how it looks because this is also something which i like from it now this will be used if you have a research paper already and you want to see that how this is being cited or what are the different sources which has been cited in a research paper? I'm going to give a DOI of my paper which has been published in, in I think 2024. So let's search that and let's see if that is available here. So you can see this is one of my paper which got published in 2023 and uh, the PDF of this is not available because it was published in uh, JPCB. So it's not open source uh, like journal but what you can do is you can set this as origin and it can help you to find all the citations related to that so it will take certain time and then it is going to show you uh, the different citations related to that so now you can see it shows it in a very good uh, very informative kind of format where you can see that these blue lines are showing that these are the direct cited papers like these are the papers which has been directly cited in this particular paper whereas these different papers have like this has taken references from these paper and there are some indirect citations from different papers okay so it gives you at a glance a good idea about how a particular paper has been cited so if you want to see if you have a paper which you are looking upon or if you are reading a research paper and want to get all the uh, like citations of that you can even get it from there there is one more in like interesting feature of this platform which is diagram generator where you can give a particular description and it can generate different types of diagram for example flow chart state diagram uh, it can even generate like different infographics which you can actually paste it in your uh, like 
even in your research proposals in your presentations you can even uh, like write it or even you can paste it in your research paper now these were some of the interesting features of this platform there are there are many many more features out of it i would highly recommend you to go to this website go to this ai tool and play around with it if you are a research scholar you will fall in love with the platform because how user friendly and how detailed this has been made and uh, definitely you should check it out there are many other features which i probably might have not taken uh, in this particular video but definitely that, that can be useful for you so go ahead check that out even if you are not a pro user uh, you will get a lot of features of this particular platform which you can use for the initial purpose just check it out and see how useful it is and if you find it useful if you think that this platform is something which you need for your writing skill which i definitely recommend so in that case you can go with the link provided in the description of this video and you can get a pro account of this particular platform at a discounted price so that's it from my side for this particular video do let me know if you have any other question related to it i will see you guys in the next video till then have a great day bye bye take care